Recently, I did a video explaining how I noticed that water was running down a sewer line. Um, I want to do another one here. Uh, in this case, this home has no problem, but the one I did yesterday did, and I got thinking about it and thinking I should do a video explaining what's going on here. So essentially here, when you've got a, a, a humidifier that adds moisture to your home, water is supplied to this humidifier through a line, um, in this case off the hot water tank. Um, almost seems like that's the hot water side. It's usually on the cold water line. In any case, this valve is opened up and it allows water to go into the humidifier. And if you don't maintain a humidifier, almost without fail, it is going to fail. And, and what usually happens, there's a float system in most of them, and that float system gets stuck, it gets calcified up and so on, and water overflows oftentimes down the side of the furnace. I'm sure some of my watchers of this video are gonna know what I mean. Um, in the case of yesterday, all the water was running down this pipe. And what he found, or first of all, what he thought was happening was that this was a dehumidifier and it was pulling water out of the house, but it wasn't. And instead, what was happening is water was being supplied by the water line and it was essentially going through the system and draining into the sewer. And because it's in town, it, it just basically disappears, but it shows up on the water bill. And in his case, it was approximately $150 a month or whatever the um, billing status was. Uh, anyway, his bill was about $150 higher than he anticipated over the last several months because this water's running down the drain. So uh, again, I'll reiterate, if water is running, moving anywhere, when you're not running any water in the house, then that's cause for concern. Don't waste water or it's going to cost you in the pocketbook.